it's chemo day. Uh, so I have to get ready for, for chemo. There's so much that goes uh, with that. Uh, one, this is a little lidocaine that you need to put on your port uh, about a half hour before you go in for the blood. For those of you that don't know, a port is this little medical device that they attach uh, to you. It's basically like mainlining so that you can mainline uh, your chemo and blood work and that type of thing. Um, we also have a chemo playlist. Uh, there's a prep list that we do in the morning. And uh, today's a little bit of a nerve wracking day. Um, last week I was supposed to actually get chemo and um, my numbers, my neutrophils, your white blood cells that keep you healthy, fight uh, disease, um, they weren't high enough for me to get uh, chemo. So they said, uh, we're sorry, but you need to go home now and uh, wait till next week. Um, it's really hard because there's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can do at all. Uh, you can't uh, solve it with food. You, there's not, uh, maybe there's medicine, but basically they just tell you to go home and, and chill and enjoy life while you <laughs> stress out because you can't get the drug that uh, is to save you. Um, when you go in for chemo, one of the first things they do is uh, they take your blood pressure. So your blood pressure uh, has to be in normal range in order for you to be able to uh, green light to get the drug. Uh, but when you're super nervous, that they're not going to green light you, obviously your blood pressure goes up. So you have to like have these really great uh, mind tricks and deep breathing uh, tricks that you do just to get through the blood pressure part. Uh, then they take your blood and they test it to see if you have enough red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, platelets, uh, and neutrophils, all of those things that keep your body going. Um, and I unfortunately have a problem with um, my uh, bone marrow being produced. So uh, last week it introduced uh, the problem of the white blood cell count. So uh, I, it's funny. I think about this a lot. Like I think it's really amazing people that stay sane during uh, cancer because <laughs> I mean literally there's nothing I can do right now except for try to stay super calm, super mellow, and go in, get my blood work done, wait for 45 minutes before they tell me yes or no. And hopefully they tell me yes, because this drug is the only thing that's keeping the cancer from growing. <laughs> All right, well, here I go.